And so when I held him, right then I knew he was special. Of course, every parent knows their kid is special, but I promised him that I would be there and I would not let anything happen to him. And if it did, then we would die together. Do you remember that day? He came in, he was like, Coach gave me a nickname. We were like, oh, cool, what was it? What did, what did, he, what did he give you? And you told us, Buckley. And my heart just sunk into my stomach. That's so engulfed in the culture. Mm -hmm. That shouldn't even be comfortable for you to even say. We don't get to be sensitive. We're, we're not even allowed to like, acknowledge the past. And I knew it was time for change because I was talking to people from Georgia who were starting Republicans calling me, asking me, okay, tell me about the talk. You have to have a talk. I had a pretty diverse friend group. And, and some of them were just like, live the wildest of lives. So you think you could live that life? Like, no. Like, if you do that, if you do that, you're you're not gonna be able to survive. You can't enjoy things like everybody else can. Yeah. It hurts, you know, to know that no matter what you do, it's like being told you're gonna have your leg cut off. You can't run anymore. And you're like, what? Like I have I have a leg right here. And it's like, no, nah, they're gonna cut that off. Like if you as a as a parent had to tell your kid that when they turn 13, you had you had to get your leg cut off, think about how much that would hurt you. And you knew it's coming, and you and you thought maybe the world is we've advanced enough to where you don't have to cut off the leg. Maybe maybe we as a society have gotten to that point, and you get it. You're like no, nah, kids' legs coming off. George Floyd happens, and he wants to go. We all angry. We all see it. It ain't. This ain't you. We've been dying. We got friends that died. We've been dying. We've been getting beat up by cops. But now the world is starting to see it. So he wants to go to the protest. And I say, you can't go. Man, we just got here. <laughs> <laughs> we just got, we just got here, bro. A two bedroom park with five people. And now we're here. And you want to go to a protest? I didn't want him to go. And he had experienced police brutality. And I had, and I knew that you go out there, bro. They gon' it's gonna be some fighting. They're gonna beat you. They don't care that you go. So no. I didn't want you to go. I didn't want you to see that we can protest from home. But I knew at that moment you had to go out there. I would have done it. I remember telling you like, something about me. Yeah, I because I'm like, I, I told you, I got I'm like, I, told, I have this platform for a reason. It's a totally different generation. It's a totally different generation. It's just a time that they're they gonna listen and they're gonna make a difference. Take your crown, take your vote.